what is Hacker Noon? How do you describe Hacker Noon and their mission? Great question. So Hacker Noon is how hackers start their afternoons, according to the tagline. Basically, we publish great tech stories. That's what we exist to do. And anybody can submit a story to Hacker Noon, which is pretty cool. It makes us the most decentralized tech publication on the internet. As far as I know, we have a global community of now probably about 20,000 writers who, you know, submit stories of their own volition, uh, unpaid, uh, just because it's great to document work that you do, expertise that you gain, knowledge that interests you, rabbit holes that you've gone down. So we provide a platform for people specifically in the technology industry to blog, basically. How much of that, you said there's some like uh, guest writers and contributors who just do it for the love of the game. How much of it is that versus like in-house people or like paid freelancers? Like, do you have, do you have some sort of a split there? The large majority is our contributors who submit completely of their own free will, as mentioned. So about 20,000 people globally. Internally, if we have time, we aim as a, as a team to publish probably a story a month, uh, maybe two, three stories a month of uh, those on the marketing or content team. The broader team is obviously always encouraged to publish as often as they can, and particularly to just use the platform. But the majority of everything that you read on Hacker Noon is submitted by people who are real human beings working in the tech industry and writing about their experiences and the things that they're learning. That's wild. So um, you're the VP of growth marketing right now. That's right. But before you were uh, editorial strategy? That's right. That's a funny story. So we have only recently had the need for this VP level of leadership at Hacker Noon. Seen a lot of growth in the last year. So three of us kind of were promoted to that level uh, in growth, editorial, and in sales or business development. And I spent a year doing editorial and my colleague Lee Mark uh, in Japan, Tokyo, spent a year doing growth. And at the end of the year, we kind of said, do you want to swap job titles? (laughs) That's awesome. (laughs) Because there was just a lot of overlap, right? And that just speaks to Hacker Noon's uh, totally flexible culture. There was a lot of overlap in our work. And I think it just made sense for both of us to uh, formalize going in, in in those directions. And it was just something fun to try for this year. So (laughs) I am now the VP of growth. I have always kind of been a a content marketer uh, in my copywriting career. got a lot of that experience. Um, My title being editorial, uh, VP of editorial strategy, really just spoke to Hacker Noon's mission to be the best place for tech professionals to publish and read and learn about technology. So Yeah, it was a great experience, but I'm happy to be focused now on more product marketing and content marketing initiatives. How do you maintain an editorial vision at Hacker Noon in in terms of like what topics and what narrative and what pieces you're you're choosing in the first place? Like, do you have, I guess you have pillars of, you know, kind of areas that you write about, mainly in tech. Um, So people are going to pitch something within that wheelhouse. And if it's outside, you can reject it right away. But how much of that is, all right, we're going to take something that's interesting and we don't know what it is until we see it versus here's what we know we want to write about. And we're, we're going to try to work with these writers to get that piece published. Definitely. We have the broadest line ever in that you can't submit anything that's about tech. And these days, what can't you make about tech, right, in the world? So people can really submit any story under the sun. Our editorial line is guided more by things like making the internet a better place. So being open, uh, both with your ideas and quite literally open sourcing your projects and writing about that and, and you know, promoting open source projects. So those kinds of more broader decentralization philosophies guide the team and guide the way that we think about the internet and how we want to contribute to it. But in terms of what we'll publish, really anything that's that's high enough quality that really adds value, that's educational, entertaining, interesting, newsworthy, topical, and related to technology, we'll publish it. 
This is such a cool approach. See, you don't have like a list of 200 keywords that you're trying to assign to people. Not at all. No. (laughs) (laughs) It sounds like there, you said there is some tie in with SEO though, right? Like you're going to do a little bit of post post editorial optimization. Like if somebody pitches either a syndicated piece or an original piece, there is an SEO strategy. For sure. Yeah. I mean, the lion's share of our traffic uh, does come from organic sources. So we're very conscious of uh, making sure that that gets the attention it deserves, particularly in the last year. And in terms of training up the editorial team, it's been fairly easy to do. Uh, you know, just understanding keyword research. And even when we're busy, just making sure that basic good habits are instilled. Like even if you're super busy and you need to spend 10 minutes improving a story that's basically there and good to go and you need to publish something now, um, you know, then what are the basic things that you need to do? Can you do a quick Google search of what you presume to be the keyword of the story? Check people also ask, check what suggestions come up, check the related searches at the bottom and make sure that the tags and the meta descriptions, your H1s, H2s are all optimized for that, you know, basic kind of stuff that everybody can do. Even our junior editors can understand and move forward with in a speedy amount of time. Um, That's kind of the base level training and definitely a priority for our editors. Hello, this is Alex Burkett, the co-founder of Omniscient Digital and hopefully prolific YouTube creator at this point. Um, I I'm grateful that you've watched this video, you've made it to the end, and I just have an ask for you, which is I love to be in a, more of a, a bi-directional conversation, if you will. It's fun producing content, but it's more fun getting your responses. So if you found anything disagreeable, controversial, contrary, and if you have opinions that you don't agree with, please let us know in the comments and we'll, we'll hash that out. If you have recommendations for people to interview or topics to cover, anything you want to learn about SEO and content marketing, we want your feedback. Basically, join us in conversation. Thank you.